I think the Milo tour has been the best tour we've done. Uh, from a production point of view, from an organizational point of view, it's been brilliant. We worked really hard from day one, and Phil Harvey has been instrumental in it. He's really steered the ship. Phil Harvey is our fifth member. He was our first and original manager. He paid for us to record our first EP. He put on our first proper show in London. He's one of us, you know, he's the buffer between us and everything else. And he's a, a student of music kind of performance and production, you know, he knows everything about the history of touring and the productions that people used. And he just studies bands and where they go wrong, and when was their heyday, why was that, what, what was happening at that time that made them so great? How, what can you learn from, you know, knowing about the, the history of, of rock music? And he's had the casting vote in our prickliest decisions and he's really the reason that we've been getting better since 2005. So on this tour we'll visit something like 24 or 25 different countries playing 120, 125 shows. We will have got a lot of air miles by the end of it. For me I guess there are moments where I still get the you know the hairs on the back of my neck thing walking out up to the X stage when you get to actually walk past people and, and see faces, because normally I'm sat right at the back and you can just see the kind of sea in front of you. And when you're right up close, it definitely sinks in a bit more. And that is, that's a pretty amazing moment. We come off stage while the fireworks are still going, we're in the car driving to the airport. So in a way that kind of, it's a very rapid decompression and you're sat Within 20 minutes, we're sat on an airplane. Within two hours, we're, we're home. And the difference between that and what we've just come from, with this kind of noisy, loud, masses of energy situation, it's, it's, it is pretty strange. I often think about that. Sometimes, if you go straight back after a show to a hotel, that's, that is the weirdest. And I, occasionally, if you're not feeling, you know, not feeling so good, I would just, do a runner from the show and go straight into a hotel and that is such a surreal feeling. Literally kind of, you know, half an hour between that mass exhilaration to just being totally on your own in a hotel room. It's very strange. A minute ago I was there and now I'm just sat in a hotel room all by myself and tomorrow we'll do it all again. <laughs> the toughest bits are when you're, when you're away from home, from family and Occasionally you get, you get things like, I remember we were playing in Las Vegas, which is a very silly place, you know, at the best of times. And I got a call saying that one of my kids was in hospital. And there I was in, in Las Vegas, you know, and I just felt, what a, this, this is, it couldn't be a worse place to be when, you're, when you know that your kid is, is not very well. So it's hard and anyone that travels has that kind of, has that kind of thing to deal with often. We're not the first band to come across these problems by any means. Um, but yeah, those, those, those moments are pretty, are pretty tricky.